Hey guys and welcome to a new adventure here at Epcot. We are missing someone today. However, we do have a special guest joining us. It's Figman! <laughs> well, look have at you ever got a purple raincoat? She's got a purple raincoat, <laughs> Figman hat, she's got a Figment t-shirt and this jumper is also, you got, you got like a Figment hood. <laughs> I am Figment. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't know, Angie's a massive Figment fan and we are here for Festival of the Arts here at Epcot, it is the final day. And you're Super finally excited. gonna go and meet him. Yeah. Gonna meet Figment, we're gonna get to do Festival of the Arts for the first time ever. So excited. This is the last festival for Epcot that we haven't done yet. Yeah. So this is gonna be really cool to get that done. I'm guessing that some of the stuff might be called off because of the bad weather, but it is due to get better. Yeah, it's supposed to start raining in like 20 minutes. So, yeah. fingers crossed. I would also like to point out that for two days out of two right now, we've made it for rope drop. Yeah. Who are these people and what have they done with the curse shots? And not only have we made it for Road Drop, we've had time to take pictures beforehand. So if anyone who's new to Disney Vlogs and doesn't know about this, if you stay at a Disney resort, you actually get half an hour before everyone else to be able to go into the park and get started for the day. So we're currently staying All Star Sports, which means they're able to go in and people are currently waiting, but they're going to wait an extra half an hour whilst we get to go and try and get to our first ride before they enter. Oh my gosh, we've only just remembered. Well, the new, like, it's it's central hub of Epcot is now open. We completely forgot about that. Now, don't get me wrong, I think they could have done a lot with this space. But I like it. I like that it's like park area. Yeah, it's nothing without the music. No. The music is on point. Yeah. But I like that. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I love how there's lights all yeah. everywhere in the floor. I can't wait to see this tonight. Yeah. You know, you feel happy walking through this bit. Do you know the thing? Like yeah. the music and. Like, they've they done such a good job with the ah. music in this area. I know, and then the, all this here, the this logo. is the Epcot logo. I wish that was a fountain, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And I think that would have been really that cool if it was good. a fountain, but still, it does look cool. I love it. It's literally giving me goosebumps, actually. That's how good it is. So, that little stop off at the, uh, at the front of Epcot did cost us quite a bit. We were planning on making our way over to Ratatouille. And it's currently an 80 minute wait. So we've, uh, we've done a bit of, yeah, we've aborted, we've moved over. We were going to head over to Frozen because that's currently at 30 minute. But then as we were coming up towards the World Showcase, we heard the noise of a car going around a track. This track! <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to risk it for a biscuit and we're going to go over and see if we can uh, get on test track because it is closed at the minute, but we're just going to hang around for five, 10 minutes and see whether it opens up because if it is that means that we're not waiting at all so fingers crossed right so we're gonna give you a bit of Kershaw logic now so yes this ride is technically closed but you've got rides that are at 70 minutes rides that are at 80 minutes yeah and there's not really many people in front of us so even if this ride is down for say an hour I still think we'll be on this ride faster than if we were to go into a ride that's open yeah, I think if we don't go on it now, we're not going on we're it not today. Not going on today because the crowd's already. I mean, it's not even well, like it's, normal crowds. Well, it's the extra magic half an hour, and um, Frozen's at seventy-five, and Rapid is at eighty. Yeah. And people keep leaving the queue, which is always good. Better for us. It's five past nine. I'm letting in. Oh, this is exciting. We're only going to queue for about five minutes. Like a river connects to the ocean. This pavement touches wherever. to take but we definitely paid off for us this time if a ride is down and all the other rides that you want to go on to has got a really long queue and actually why not just wait for that ride, well, ride to open up sometimes test track could be down for like half a day yeah so it was risky we said we were going to wait for maybe half an hour some say you should never meet your idol and someone is about to go and meet hers <laughs> and now we're going to head over to the figment meet and greet what are you going to say to him I'm just going to do my usual awkwardness right as well. I'm just going to pretend he's not there. 
And then when he says, like, what are you doing? I want to go, oh, sorry, I thought you were a figment of my imagination. Oh, no, you are not. I do not do that. <laughs> I'll kill you. Oh, my God. How are you feeling right now? Oh, it's a big He's literally right there. Right, right, okay, so how many sets of wings have you got on you now? One, two, three, four. Your t shirt. Five. My phone, six. <laughs> if he doesn't get the idea that you're a big figment fan, I don't think it's something wrong. Okay, are you ready? It's like a life moment for you. Is this going to be better than the day that you got married? No. The day you had a child? No, can't. <laughs> Straight in for a cuddle. Yay! Big win! Yep! I got. <laughs> yep, on the bike! <laughs> oh. See you later, Pigment. Bye, Pigment. Leave it, Pigment. And he loved the Pigmentless. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you happy? I'm so happy. Yeah? Yeah, I got to meet You Pigment. finally got to meet him. I got to meet Pigment. Was it everything you wanted and more? Yeah. <laughs> and the first real test of the non-merch is out with new Pigment ears that she didn't know existed and the spirit jersey. Look at all the Pigment merch. There is so much this time. So much. Really sorry, Angela, but this is a no merch trip. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What? Oh. oh, it's a bad charm. Yeah. My it's... bag needs a thing. <laughs> what, what did he say? He said, I'm not including the no merch trip. Do you want me to get it for you? <laughs> <laughs> and look who's come to join us. Hello there. Welcome to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what though? Like you said, it's starting to get bright up a little bit. Blue skies and sunshine. Yeah, Tell this you. is it. Trust me. Trust me, it's Florida. I'm getting there. We wanted to go on it's, uh, it's busy though. Did you do rope drop? Yep. Did you yeah, we did alright. We did test track. Yeah. And then what else did we do? That pigment. Yeah, Fig met, met Figman, Fig yeah, when, Fig when he went on his ride, so we haven't done too bad, have we? So. Did, you get a, did you get a Guardians? We up no. to seven? Yeah, Didn't honestly, we were on it. Pressed it as it changed to the Guardians. Yep, completely gone. Like, lit, so, so so it, not even like, didn't even give you an option to refresh. No, we didn't gone. get one either. Yeah, it's a busy day. Yeah. So Barry just mentioned to us about the annual pass uh, magnets, and we completely forgot about it, so we're going to quickly uh, nip in now and grab it whilst we have the chance. Because according to this queue is not too bad. Nine. Spits up our annual pass magnets. Mm. Probably the final ones that we're going to get out of these annual passes, but at yeah. least we got some. Definitely the last ones. Well, depends if they do another one for That's food and wine. That's true. Maybe one more. And we also came across this. That is the sexiest Starbucks club <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. And listen, why is it going to be on a no merch trip, Ange? <laughs> no. I feel like you need to break the no merch rule so then once you've broken it, I can break it. <laughs> I like what you've done. <laughs> Shame. So it looks as if the rain beat out this uh, design. We just all started to drip down oh, it. I really wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. They might, it might dry out for them to do it later. It doesn't supposed to open till 11, so... So we weren't too sure whether they're actually going to do chalk art today, but it looks like they are starting to do it now that the uh, floor starting to dry up a bit. Barry you get Barry to the hot spot? Yeah. Alright, yeah, we're in the present. Alright, go on, show Barry what you need to do. You ready? What do I need to do? Show him what you need to do. Right. <laughs> 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 it is whether that big. Yeah. There's a bigger one here for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have stopped off at the UK Pavilion, also known to some people as the London Pavilion or the England Pavilion, depending on how you want to wind people up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, we've got fish and chips, 
Yeah. Maxine and Barry treated all these as some fish and chips. And nothing else to see. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then uh, that's, the, that's the view that we've got of the barges that are there in the middle of the lake. And then we've got some popcorn from Canada, because we're going the right way round. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think this segment is just there to annoy people. people. <laughs> and then we've also met someone, haven't we? Yeah, we finally got to meet Robin after years of like gro nearly crossing paths. Yeah, it was lovely to meet you, yeah. <laughs> so we're just sitting here having a nice fish and chips, looking out on the lake, and Barry got pooped on. <laughs> lucky, I'm told it's lucky. Yeah. I should be I mean, so lucky. I, I feel the lucky one sitting next to you and I didn't go. Oh, about you. But yeah, so literally, if you it's sit here. Bad. I'll tell them where it is. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. Place actually, yeah. So, um, so this is the Rose and Crown behind us. So if you go to the side and you get the fish and chips, it's like normally if you look up the top, um, that's where you can go for the seating area. But they've now like, got this bit right at the back. So it's right on the lake. I'm not too sure whether or not you'll be able to see it at the fireworks time. But um, he's laughing at you, Barry. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll laugh at you. <laughs> but that's under cover there, so that, that's the yeah. So that yeah, if you're gonna come down here, probably sit under the cover rather than getting pooped poop on. Area. It's right above your bag right now, though. Go Squeeze on, one. no, don't do it. Squeeze one out. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> but I also got attacked by a duck whilst I was down here as well. Eat, eat, eat! You get eaten by a duck. <laughs> so yeah, the animals don't want you to be here. <laughs> I feel like the reverse of Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> Our journey around the world takes us to France and to one of my favourite snacks in Walt Disney World, the croque glass. We usually go with the pecan cinnamon flavour but we thought we'd mix it up and try the apple cinnamon crunch and it did not disappoint. Is it? As good as you remember? Yeah? Good choice for the ice cream, changing it up. It's better? No way. Not a chance. Good? 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10? High praise. 100 out of 10. Tell you what, you're like the coolest guy in the world. He's trying to sneak in for another bite, that's what he's doing. Yeah? What do you reckon? Is that better than the pecan? Or the pecan? This is really good though. Alright, so it's, our adventures have taken us now through to the Germany Pavilion. Which can mean only one thing. Yes, we are getting pretzel bread pudding. The sun is really coming out now. Yeah. It's which is nice to see after, after the last couple of days. I'm like, do we need to go back and get some cream? Maybe. Aww. Pretzel bread, cheers! Yeah, there we go. Cheers. This is the best, honestly, the best dessert. Would you like a spoon? Yes, please. Enjoy that sharing with you, son. <laughs> cheers. Mm. So good. Let's get you some popcorn. Good spotting, kiddo. So these are part of Festival of the Arts, so they have all different, like, in the pavilions, they've got all the little random artworks of Disney characters. And I just spotted this one, didn't you? Good spot, I didn't see it. Pascal the Chameleon. Yes. Do you fancy going see the next Disney park that you'll be going into? Pardon? Do you want to go and see the next Disney park uh, that you'll be going into? I get you now, looked up and seen where we're about to be. Yeah, should we go to Swallow Pavilion? Let's go and have a look. Oh, oh. What? Huh? What? Do you like the design of it? Oh, look at that. Remote control Tron. Make it. That's cool. Oh, look at those ears. Can we get that remote That's cool. Tron ears are cool. Inside of the China Pavilion, there is an entire building that's dedicated to Shanghai Disneyland and all the kind of rides and stuff that are inside it. So you've got the likes of Tomorrowland, you've got Tron, you've got the Buzz Lightyear ride. The yeah, ride. Yeah, right to the Caribbean ride there. Yeah, that's the new Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Treasure Coast. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean again. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean whole costume there. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland. Oh, these are cool, aren't they? Pluto! Yeah, Pluto. He looks a bit derpy though. 
<laughs> this is the castle, mate. This is the castle we're going to see. The enchanted storybook castle. This will be castle number four. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was hoping there was a castle over here. I was going to go like, hey, <laughs> help us, tell us what we need to know. Voyage to the Crystal Grotto. I'm looking forward to that. Mm, I am. Uh oh. Duffy and friends. So Could these guys more? are super popular. An Asian part, all Asian part. Hey, well. oh, look at gelatoni. I know Duffy and I know Duffy and I know So these four stone characters. Right, they stand outside of each entry to Adventure Isle. So they're like little mascots oh. to like guard it. So that's gonna be cool to see. I didn't know about them. And then this guy here on oh, the right, left. Representing Water, Land, and Sky. Yeah. And this guy, he, re he represents. He's in, he's in the Roaring Rapids ride. Is this like what it was talking about a second ago with the big statues that <coughs> guardians? Yeah. I think Are these so. like the Disney guardians? Yeah. Shanghai Disney is one of the only Disney parks in the world that doesn't have a main street. Yeah, it's Mickey Avenue, doesn't it? Mickey Avenue. That's what they've replaced it with. It's, uh, Disney Town, so their version of like downtown Disney. And there's a massive Donald Duck. I'm looking forward to seeing the back of Donald Duck. I bet it's even bigger <laughs> in real life, like yeah. the city. Whoa, look at this! Final mission, only they're still going out there. Oh, was remember when it was huge over here by no Yeah. Oh, Ollie. Yeah. The Toy Story Hotel. Well, it's then, buddy. Yeah. So, so in the courtyard of the Toy Story Hotel is an oversized tin toy rocket that overlooks several water play areas. What do you mean that? Yeah? Excited? Yeah, really, really, really excited. Right now, over to the Japan Pavilion. So I'm joking, there isn't one over there. <laughs> right, so we've now worked our way around the World Showcase and headed back into the Odyssey building, which has been themed for the Festival of the Arts. And basically, it's just very figmenty. It's Figment's inspiration station. We got Figment in a cup, which yeah. is basically grape soda with free dried Skittles. Go on, give us Skittle. Give the Skittle a go. What's it like? That's crazy. It like a bit into it and exploded into little pieces. Yeah? It's like a skittle but not chewy. Like, hmm. That was good. Don't like that. <laughs> Tell everyone what you really think. It's really, really nice grape flavour, but the consistency is weird. I expected like a slush, and yeah. it's more like an ice creamy. Like a smoothie. It's more like the pickle milkshake, but grape flavoured. Oh no. It's got a very strange oh, no. consistency, hasn't it? This would be better. Oh, you You're expecting a slush. I bet you like it. No? Tell me why. The taste of it's weird. Have you tried a skittle though? Skittles are good. Skittles are real. Do you want a skittle? Give us a skittle. Star rating that. I would give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yeah? What about the drink? One out of ten. Okay. Two out of ten. Just for the consistency though, about the flavour, like the flavour's quite nice. Hi guys, it's been a few hours now since we last spoke to you. Has. Yeah, we went for a little bit of a nap back in the hotel. And a little break. And a bite to eat at Tijuana Flats. Tijuana Flats, Tijuana yeah. Flats. So we'll oh, that was so good. It was good, wasn't it? We'll quickly show you that, and then we'll meet you back here at Epcot for the night time. So tonight we are eating at Tijuana Flats. New one for us? excited to try it so we are in Tijuana flats yeah we saw this on Tim Tracker's video on the like 
food looks amazing so we're like we're, we're, we're suckers we're suckers for a bit of mexican yeah so looking at this there's tons of stuff so but well, you're basically looking at like tacos burritos nachos quesadillas chimichangas everything like that and then you want to look you got some drinks on the other side desserts churro bites Ooh, and then here's the kids menu as well nice what are you thinking Ange? I'm thinking the cheesy steak floaters. Okay. I don't know if I'm these saying guys, that right. These guys. Floaters, floaters. Yeah. Floaters. I'm thinking tacos. Well, look at those mango tango shrimp tacos. They look. They look cool. Very good. I just noticed these deals. Tuesdays, two taco and chips and a drink for six ninety nine. Oh, on a Thursday you can get burrito or ball chips and a drink for seven ninety nine, and on a Saturday you can get two for twenty, which is Saturdays. Two entrees, two drinks, and a starter for $20. And there's a happy hour, two to five dollar deals from two to five every day. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at that. Which we missed by an hour. <laughs> Throwback Thursdays, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Those are the shrimp ones we've gone for. How good do they look? Shrimply the best, they look. So, Tijuana Flats that we've been to, this one is in celebration, and it was literally what, 12, 30 12 minutes, minutes away from yeah. the hotel? So, hopefully, fingers crossed, if it's good, it's a good alternative. I mean, altogether, the food for the three of us came to $25. So, not bad, that is it? Not bad at all. It's very cool. It's quirky, isn't it? Yeah. Very quirky. Just noted venom in the ceiling there. Right, so the food has arrived. So this is the mango tango shrimp tacos. They look really they look good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. The flouters this, look good. What, what did flouters, she say it to you? She repeated uh, it to you. She did. I think I feel I like she said flouters. And I cannot remember how to pronounce it. Flouters. Flouters, I flouters. think flouters. she said. And then Ollie's gone for a kid's burrito, which came with M&M's. Either choice of that or applesauce. I mean. I'd have probably gone for the applesauce. And, uh, <laughs> and I think that's, is that like a little, sticker. it's a little sticker? And or is chips, it a tattoo? No, chips. it's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. Mm. A little kid's tattoo of a robot crushing a burrito and then chips. So. Are we going to get any sauces? Because they all look very, very spicy. So these are all the sauces that you can get. <laughs> they look very spicy and very... There's one that's got Carolina Reaper in. You should go for that. No. No? Barry? <laughs> <laughs> we should bring him and do a chips and dip challenge. Yeah. Mm. Good start, right? Crispy, salty. Mm. These are proper tortillas. So good. Yeah. I'm going to start with a steak. Oh, no, I'm not. It's hot. <laughs> I'm going to try the cheesy steak flouter now. It's a really juicy tender steak, like thin, thin strips of steak inside it. I think onions, maybe peppers, and lots of cheesy sauce. Oh, that is really good. Oh, that is good. Well, since I just started with them, I'm going to start with the shrimp taco. Let me try and try. I feel like you might need to pull the tray your uh, way. I feel like, yeah, one minute. I'm not going to. I think you're going to have a disaster if you don't. <laughs> yeah, let me just push some of this down. The packet. That up. looks so good. Right, okay. Avoid him. That shrimp is good. Is it really good? Yeah, that's really nice. Mango tango, can you taste the mango? Mm. That's Are really we scared of so good review? So good. That's really tasty. So the shrimp is quite like smoky, but it's balanced out really nice with the sweetness of the fruit. That's really good. Are you gonna try your burrito now? What do you think? She has this massive contemplating face now. Five out of ten. Five out no. of ten. No. Well, if that's what he says, he says it's five out of ten. Five out of ten. Four. Oh. My. Days. Those state flouters. Oh my gosh. Best thing we've eaten this trip so far. Yeah. What do you reckon? The deep, deep fried like burrito, what would you call it? It's basically got like onion, steak. What else would you say to it? Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce, yeah. What is that? You have I think these, it's peppers. You have these dips here. <laughs> oh, so good. Over here in the corner of the restaurant is like basically a load of funny TikToks. And Ollie's latched onto that so crazily. So they've got that. And up here, they've also got like trivia. You can join it on your phone. 
different, isn't it? Mm. Chips are really good as well. Oh They're my really God. good. We've got a Guardian's boarding group. After yeah, being miserable after at this seven morning. this morning, we managed to get one at one o'clock. Yeah, we got one when Barry and Maxine were with us, but like I say, it wasn't until later on. And it's, also, it's getting cold in about an hour, so it works out pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. So here we go, this is the start. Look at this like, little area here. That's, this is like where everyone was meeting and greeting earlier on today, so that's like a new area to put in. What do you think, Hans? Look at the light it. on the floor. Look at the lighting. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad because of what they actually removed. Remember them lights that used to be in yeah, the floor? It's show in the middle of the new hub yes and it's the og show yeah i love the og show do you know what i, I like this area i really like it i feel really relaxed in yeah it. yeah even down to the glowing sticks that are behind us it's all part of like one show yeah all like coordinates all with each it. other it's really good and there's so many people here yeah it seems like this is like the new the part yeah, yeah this is this is the, the hub now this is definitely the hub. Have you seen the new ring light things there yeah, as well? Yeah, there's so many di like, there's different aspects all built into it and they're all different. So you've got the all rings over lights. here, the tree light kind of things over here, the stick things here. It's pretty cool. All different cool. colours in the ground. Yeah, the exactly. Trees. There's loads. So cool. I really like it. Yeah, I, 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 oh, I, even I lights. The, look, even those lights under there are the same colour as Spaceship Earth right now. That was the best thing that came out of the 50th was this glow up. Oh, yeah. It's the, the, the Epcot ball. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So cool. And there's something about this this track. We just like sit and listen Proper and people it. watch it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just makes me feel happy. Yeah. It's like a track that if you hear it wherever you are in the world, you would feel happy. Right, it's time to ride Guardians. Let's go jump all the let's, way back. Let, yeah, let's go jump back. I wonder if we'll get September. Do you think we'll get September? It's the last one we've not had. But did you know that your scientists discovered a planet with... So it's daylight now. Yeah, so as you may have noticed, we're in a different park right now. And that's because we forgot to end the vlog last night. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a good evening. We got to catch up with New World Travel Monkeys, Kitty and Aunt, which was lovely. Yep. We got carried away talking and completely forgot to end it. Yep. Uh, Guardians was great, by the way, just in case you didn't already know that. Amazing. We didn't get... September again though. No, we, we got one way or another for the fifth time. Yeah, we did indeed. <laughs> I'm convinced September doesn't exist. Well, at least you have an idea of what's coming on next week's vlog. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, then it'd be nice if you go and do that. Until next time. We'll see you on the next adventure. Catch you later. Bye.